Okay, they're all in stories. The neighbors seem nice. Yo! Y'all tighten up. Pussy niggas. Yeah, y'all tighten up in this bitch. Tell a friend, tell a friend to lock me in, man. I'm fucking with my little homie too, man. He said we gotta address this shit. Y'all know I'm gonna address it, bitch. Get to him, little pooty. Y'all right, coming in a few minutes, y'all. That's my neighborhood, though. Get to him, little homie. I'm finna get to you, all strong, everybody with you, tell a friend to tell a friend. Then where I'm sitting at, nigga, in recline time, pussy. This my house, nigga. This ain't no rental shit here, nigga. It's junky as fuck, but this my shit, pussy. 250, 250, nigga. This my shit, pussy. Jabari Snake, get your pussy ass on this bitch, nigga. We ain't through yet, nigga. I'm finna dress your bitch ass, you and whoever. Pop out, nigga. Pop out. Hold on. Oh, no. Get into it, booty. We're gonna let y'all check this shit out. Hey, look. Hey, look, man. Hey, man, y'all look, man. Hey, man, y'all look, man. Armstrong said he doing it for the money, man. Hey, y'all look, man. Hey, y'all look, man. Look at that shit, man. Hey, man. Y'all look, man. Y'all tell that pussy nigga I'll book him. Look at it, man. Hey, man. Y'all, hey, man, say, man. Somebody call Armstrong. Hey, man, say, man. Call them poor ass niggas to the, to the fucking thing. Hey, man, say, man. Call these pussy niggas up, man. This is what they say they doing it for, huh? I'll book you pussy niggas, nigga, huh? That what a real bag look like, fuck nigga. Street money, nigga. Puss ass, nigga, huh? I'm gone, nigga. Yeah, nigga, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, tell a friend, tell a friend to lock me in, man. Say, man, hey, man, fuck nigga Armstrong. And whoever with him, pop out, pussy. It's too many of y'all for me to call y'all name, nigga. All you pussies, pop out. I'm here. I ain't doing it for no check, nigga. Look at that nigga. I been had to check pussy. I got the bag. Fuck nigga. Fuck nigga. I'll book your bitch ass nigga. What you will? 3,500? That ain't even that. This look like a stack, huh? Let's see. Let's see. That 3,500? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, you don't give a 1,500 for a deposit, nigga. That's your deposit money. Fuck nigga. They're going to get deposit money, nigga. Tell me where you want to be at. Tell me who you want. They're with you. I book you, fuck nigga. Any nigga stand with your bitch ass from Orlando, fuck nigga. They's a police bitch ass nigga. And Willie Slater said that. I ain't hiding from none of you niggas. You niggas talking about you going to pop out. Pop out. Pop out. You talking about what you going to do? Bases loaded. All that shit, nigga. Hey, listen. Remember this hip. Every nigga remember this hip. It done been a whole bunch of baseball teams that had the bases loaded. And you know what they start doing? They start calling in them good ass bitches. That's gonna strike every bitch out that come up the back. Now bring your ass, nigga. Bring your ass, nigga. Nigga, my 200 ain't stop on my jewelry. Armstrong, bitch ass, snitch ass, Jabaris Nathan. I got you, I got you, I got your views up, nigga. Cause I seen before you drop that shit and Willie Slater said something to you, you ain't have 20 views on that shit, nigga. I'll make you pussy niggas hot just to cool your fuck ass off, nigga. Yeah. You niggas ain't gonna ever grow up this motherfucking town no more, nigga. You ain't never had a bag, broke-ass nigga. You ain't never had a bag. All that jewelry and shit you niggas had flossing when you had the wave going, if any of that shit was real, you bitch-ass niggas would be up right now. You should be able to go cash that shit in and get you some money back. You feel what I'm saying? Your bitch-ass should be up right now. You shouldn't be looking for no show money. Fuck, nigga. You don't deserve no money. That's why you niggas don't got no money. That's why you niggas ain't never had no money. It may have looked it like money to people that ain't never had money. But a nigga that got money and that had money his whole life, you fuck niggas know I done had money my whole life, nigga. You niggas can't think of a time that Willie Slater was broke. None of you niggas. One of you niggas. None of you niggas can't think of a time that you ever heard Willie Slater being broke or ask one of you pussy niggas for anything. I take what I want when I want to, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. That's why my table look like that. The whole table, fuck nigga. And it ain't a five, a ten, or none of that, nigga. Ain't number 20, 50s in the homeless around this bitch, puss ass, nigga. That's it, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. I don't gotta do nail show, nigga. I ain't doing it for no clout, nigga. I don't want a nigga like your bitch ass represent my city, nigga. I don't need rap money, nigga. Fuck rap money, nigga. I got a story, nigga, that's unfatable, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. I'm the only nigga been in, in the chain gang with a license in 192 years that you know, nigga. That gave that bitch without doing what you did, nigga. Snitching, fuck, nigga. I'm the only nigga you know, nigga. I'm the nigga that you pattern your life behind, fuck, nigga. 
Every nigga in this city, nigga, up under me, nigga, that heard Willie Slater in their house before, fuck, nigga. You a puss ass jit that growed up trying to be like me, but my walk ain't like yours, nigga. I ain't no police ass nigga, nigga. Oh, police ass nigga, I know you working, nigga. Trying to set a bitch up, nigga. The rap world better watch out for you. And they told my G Money trying to book you and move what? Boy, I got a little respect for Moot on that rap shit. If that nigga do anything with your bitch ass, bro, boy, he lost all credibility in the world from everybody in the world, bro. For real. Because I ain't got nothing against Moot on that rap shit. Me and Moot got some street shit going on. Strong you can't represent this city, bro. And I want the world to know this here. So you don't think that I'm clowning you, bitch ass nigga. I've been talking shit about you since 2008. Go back all to my records, bro. All my shit got defined a pussy nigga. That's defining you. Define a pussy nigga. Whole style softer than a motherfucker. In the middle, me, I'm like an 18 wheel. You, you just a bitch ass nigga. Come here, nigga. Bring your pussy ass out and play, nigga. This shit ain't had nothing to do with nobody but me and you, Armstrong. Everybody else passed up with you, bro. But guess what? All y'all done been the chain game just like I have. I survived that bitch by myself. It's a strong saying in prison, bro. You know what that bitch is? War daddies get it the worst. The war daddies get it the worst. War daddies get it the worst. Remember that. War daddies get it the worst. Especially trying to be a war daddy for the police. You fuck niggas might as well sign up for the academy, nigga. You might as well sign up for the academy. All you niggas that's rocking with all strong. All y'all got to have police badges, nigga. Willie said that, nigga. I'm a one-man record show, nigga. And I ain't scared of nail, nigga, out this bitch. In the jailhouse. On the streets. None of that shit, nigga. None of that. One thing about this shit, bro, my, my background, check out, nigga, I got a face card, nigga, throughout the system, wherever, nigga, I hold that shit down, I don't click up with nobody, nigga, that's why I ain't rocking with nobody, I don't gotta jump no motherfucking click to do me, or say what the fuck I wanna say, or guess what, how I feel right now, it's so many pussy ass niggas in Orlando, that now clicked up with this bitch ass nigga Armstrong, to, I got a new saying for you fuck nigga, ha 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 ha, I got a new saying for you fuck nigga, and guess what it is, I hope somebody like Whoop or Moot Boy or Hot Boy or Glock 9 or somebody take this saying that's hot and make it an Orlando saying, man. It takes seven of you fuck niggas to get one heartbeat. <laughs> it takes seven chump ass niggas to get one adult heartbeat. That's sad, bro. I don't want no shit like that representing my city, bro. That's why when I'm in the chain gang, they call me Big Homie. Because I don't give a damn what size you is, where you from, none of that, nigga. I'm coming how I come, and I come to represent Orange County. Ask Armstrong, bitch ass. When you try to represent, did you ever try to represent Orange County when you did what you did? No. Jabaris checked in. Jabaris went to Columbia CI. He was claiming that he was banging. But in the chain gang, see, you know it's easy for a nigga to say, I'm banging on the streets because everybody homeboys, and you ain't going to get too far out there, right? But see, when you banging in that chain gang, you got niggas from all over the world and Florida. So guess what they doing? Them boys skyline and out this bitch checking. They checking. They checking. They checking. Oh, fuck nigga, you ain't living. Fuck nigga, you got paperwork on you, fuck nigga. You got 24 hours to get off the pound, Jabari Nathan. Know who Jabari Nathan had to call? He had to call Willie. He had to call Willie. Know how he got through to Willie? Because he messed with Fulani. You know who Fulani is? Fulani is Erica's sister. So he needed a way to find out how to dump this pressure. Who to call? Oh, strong nigga, you know I destroy your bitch ass nigga. I got out 2009, your fuck ass was staying in motherfucking rose, my nigga, in a two bedroom apartment with four motherfucking kids, nigga. You got four kids, nigga, all on staying in the same bedroom. But guess what? They ain't got nowhere to put that shit at, cause you got so many motherfucking clothes and shoes stacked up with this fake ass rap shit. Your kids shit in bins, nigga. Nigga, you better fall back, nigga. You know I know your whole life story, nigga. Fuck you got going on, nigga. You better back up, nigga. Back up, nigga. My day kill. Not era. That money came from the chain gang. That's why right now, I don't give a fuck. Look, when you cut the head off, guess what? That ass gonna die. The whole world said I got out and destroyed her. She had all this here. No, that was my shit to start with. That's why God took that shit. Oh, that was my shit, nigga. It was mine. It was money I made in the chain gang, nigga. That's the hell nigga that been in the chain gang with me, nigga. I rep this orange kind of shit, nigga. Straight up, nigga. I get it from the mud, nigga. And don't get with no niggas, nigga. And don't take seven niggas to be with Willie, to amp Willie up, to make Willie feel like he'll do something. It don't take that many niggas to be with me. It just take me. It take me and me to feel some type of motherfucking way about whatever the fuck going on, and I'm going. That's what it take. It don't take no niggas to charge me up, nigga. You niggas bitch made niggas, nigga. Any nigga need another nigga heartbeat to make them do something. You was a fuck nigga, nigga. Straight up, nigga. Any nigga that need another nigga heartbeat to make them do something. You was a fuck nigga, nigga. Any nigga that's standing on the strip with Armstrong, because guess what? Truth be told, right? I said I knocked a bitch ass nigga out for $10,000. 
Straight up. I ain't never said nothing about no street shit, cuz that shit get me sent to jail. I done did nine months for responding to a nigga about some street shit and what I do. Bitch sent my shit straight to the motherfucking police department. So I know that's part of the trickery game that these niggas got going. That's why they mentioned them a brother and all that shit there. But I ain't responding to no that there. I said I'll beat your pussy ass up for $10,000 and that'll be a show. But as far as you representing our city, bro, you can't represent our city, nigga. It's niggas like me, that life that you speaking on. Nigga, that shit can't fly. Nigga, you a bitch, pussy, fuck, nigga. Your rap career is over. You not no legend from Orlando. You not a legend from Orlando. So how could you have a podcast and say living legend? You not a legend. Because everything you rapped about all strong, you went against that shit, bro. You didn't stand in the paint because you got caught. You rat it, nigga. Yeah, you might not rat it on the people that you calling because they your family. Nigga, you went out of town and set people up, bro. No matter what you did, you was a rat. Nigga, just like that nigga scumbag said back in the day, eight years ago, scumbag like big up to you, my nigga in the ATL, said that shit. Scumbag like eight years ago. Armstrong, since you from Orlando, you Mickey Mouse. You was a fucking rat. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. You know what I want to see on Armstrong too? I know a lot of your fans want to see this shit too, right? Just like my little homeboy say, Mook say he couldn't get a chance. He couldn't wait to ask Mook ass. Man, how the fuck you saw the goddamn portion of the living room, right? And that was on some good kiki shit with them. You heard? So, Armstrong, a lot of your fans and me want to know this here. All them million dollar ass stories you had, and all them million dollar ass chains you had, and all this balling shit you did, and you got all this money, you snitched to get out of jail. Where is that at, Armstrong? Because you shouldn't be doing no damn show. You should be showing me that you got it stacked up like this too, bro. Where that's at, boy? You should be showing me that you got that shit piled up too, boy. Because you ain't have to pay no lawyer. I paid $85,000. Y'all talking about how I got it. I spent 85000 and still got some. If I need to, get what? This chain right here, right? Come on, strong. You can go to Miss Addis, right? I can go pawn this bitch at the pawn shop and get me 13, 14 rockets. That's on the pawn tip, fuck, nigga. Pussy ass, nigga. That's on the pawn tip. That's just a slave chain, nigga. You know what the champ chain were, fuck, nigga. That bitch iced all the way out. And I ain't talking about them Cuban zirconias you was going in the, in, 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 in. if y'all ever been to the Millennium Mall, you know they got a fucking crystal shop down there. I suppose this fuck nigga so bad, but you know I know your whole life, bro. They got a crystal shop. In, in, in Millennium Mall, for y'all that don't know, and any of y'all want fake jury from now on, we're gonna give you the game, because that's what Armstrong got to. He had his whole life. He can't body scan that fuck nigga. None of that jury them niggas ever had. Tell them niggas to show you one piece of that shit right now and tell them to body scan that shit and act like it's real. Fuck nigga, you wouldn't have to tell them, nigga, nigga, if that shit was you, if that shit was you else, nigga. If that shit was real Jew else, nigga, you wouldn't have to tell them nobody. I can't go out this door right here because I don't want my address showing. Well, man, cause you know these fuck nigga creep niggas. These niggas ain't no niggas that uh stand up and gonna look a nigga in the eye when they do shit. They wanna do it behind a nigga back and, and probably try to run down on some bullshit, right? They ain't gonna come hit me head up. I'm a one nigga. You should wanna hit me head up, nigga. Know what I mean? But the sun, you know, the sun gonna make this shit do what it do wherever I'm at. Hey, Rico! Rico! Let me show you this camera I got too. I want you fuck niggas caught around slipping around this bitch here. Rico! I want you caught slipping around my shit, nigga. Get caught around this bitch, nigga. It is what it is, nigga. Huh? Yeah, I got a whole kennel on, nigga. Kennel them bitches. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Get up here. Get up here. I got a whole kennel on, fuck, nigga. A whole kennel on. They love the dog, too. They love the dog, nigga. I got a whole kennel on. Get caught around this bitch, fuck, nigga. I ain't hiding from there. One of you bitch ass niggas, nigga. I ain't never been no nigga scared of a nigga that had no reputation like mine. I ain't never been scared of a nigga that had a mouth like mine. I ain't never been scared of a nigga that wasn't scared to pull that bitch like I ain't. I ain't never been scared, nigga. I ain't never been scared of a nigga that claim they live the life I live, nigga. Only thing we ever did is had a mutual respect. But nigga, and I'm nigga that crossed my motherfucking path wrong, nigga. I'm ready to do whatever by Willie, nigga. By Willie, I'm ready to do whatever, nigga. I ain't never been a bitch, nigga. I ain't never been pussy. I ain't never been none of that shit you whole niggas is, man. I ain't never been the police, nigga. I ain't never even sat down with them whole ass crackers on strong. You's a fuck, nigga, nigga. And any nigga that stand with you is a fuck, nigga. I say it. I mean it. I ain't retracting no nail damn word. I said that. Damn. Already. What happened? I ain't see that. Whoop. I see somebody you say I'm ready to do whatever about who. I got to take that one. What that mean, bro? Who said something to you, brother? Because you know I don't read the comments, bro. So somebody says something to you, but you know, you know these niggas, social media niggas, whoever be patching up, bro. So it's hard to say. I done seen like 10, 15 different fake accounts on my shit, right? Since dealing with this bitch ass nigga on strong, right? And this fake ass real shit, right? Cause, whoo, man, whoo, check this out. This one to you, little bro. I know we don't even really know each other shit like that, right? But I know your dad and your mom, bro. Real good, bro. 
I ain't got nothing but major love and respect for you, bro. And I like everything you're doing, bro. Don't let these dudes really get you out of character, bro. You gone, little bro. You feel what I'm saying? You gone, bro. You ain't got no reason to let a nigga get you out of character. Now, if you go drop something on these fuck niggas, drop that shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But actually getting yourself out of character, bro. Even me, bro. I ain't had no business making this fuck nigga as hot as he done got again. You feel what I'm saying? Before he was speaking on that fuck nigga, he dead. Nigga, just because you done been there down there a decade of not being a snitch, you can't come back, bro. Your paperwork too thick, bro. Ain't nothing cool about what you're doing. Even right now, nigga, if you want to do a versus, right? Okay, right? Let's break this shit down. Armstrong do a versus. What could Armstrong tell people? Hey, I fucked Shaw over, but it's all good. I need you to listen to my music because I'm still hood. That ain't gonna fly, bro. That ain't gonna fly, bro. Oh, I fuck Aaron over. Oh, I fuck whoever over. But, bro, Armstrong, this don't got nothing to do with Shaw. Because, truth be told, guess what? You got so much influence over Shaw. You got Shaw to make a call. You, I was in the county, and I kept telling little brother, don't do that shit, bro. Don't do that shit, bro. Fuck that nigga, bro. So, nigga got to even let you have that when you say fuck Shaw. You feel me? Nigga got to say that. I know the story why Moot Boy went fucking with your bitch ass when you went to jail, when you got out of jail, and you and Moot was going through it, whether Moot agreed with what I say or not, or try to change it. See, Moot was with me every day. So, I know the whole story. You was getting ready to tell on Moot Boy and Hot Mike about that shit with Mr. Leading, bro. You was on the stand from the tail on Mookie. This is why Moot Boy don't fuck with you right now today. This is why Moot Boy stayed away from your camp. Moot ain't got to tell the story. Moot was around a nigga that, will, that, that don't give a fuck about you. And you know that. Because when y'all tried to run down on Moot Boy and Heron and I went at your bitch ass, you ran out the back door. These ain't no motherfucking lies. These hardcore facts. Moot Boy did not fuck with you when he got out and you got out and Hot Mike still in prison. But Hot Mike love you to death, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. Even though he know you was a fuck nigga and he know you was a snitch. Because we done had this conversation. I don't mention nobody names. I don't talk to creep about your ass being a bitch ass, snitch ass nigga, nigga. Before you got out, nigga, fuck you mean. Told him I can't be around you. That's why me and little brother weren't hanging out. He'll tell you that shit, nigga. Fuck you mean. You tried to holler at me yourself, nigga. Tell these folk I came to the bridge to see your bitch ass, nigga, soon as you got there. And tell these folk what I asked your bitch ass when you got there. Bro, how you gonna come back to the city after you did that jitterball like that? That was bleeding in you, bro. That's just like me doing Emic and Yogi like that, bro. That shit won't fly with me doing Emic and Yogi like that, bro. I had to bite the bullet, bro. Even if it took me like it did, going to sit down and motherfucking fight my motherfucking cases for the bank robbery. Man, Emic, talk with bank robbery, kidnapping, all that shit, bro. Pat D with us, all that shit, bro. Get what? No matter what, or how mad Pat, Patrick Lester, Pat D, is with me right now. One thing he gonna have to tell you, fuck niggas, is this. Jit ain't no police. Jit not finna sit down and talk to the police. And no matter what you saying, you gonna do to him, that little bitch is going to rock the fuck out with whoever. Even though we don't like each other right now. When you speak factual shit, that's what got to be factual about what it's like. I'm going to rock the fuck out. By all means, this here about me. Right out. But just so Armstrong can know this here, right? Bro, you ain't just became a topic, bro. One thing about it is here. When niggas give a nigga props, right? Me, right? I give a nigga they props. And I mean, I gave you props, bro. You feel what I'm saying? At one time, Armstrong... I was really rocking with the movement, bro. It was like that Mo Mo Mohawk shit was like, what's so special from a nigga like me? I got life sick. So, you know, I'm only hearing about the Mohawk movement. I'm hearing that niggas out here cashing a check like this here that me and my homeboys used to cash and shit. Red, Tiki Hawk, Murr, Pat D was a part of that clique, Bubba Head, you know what I mean? Jersey from Crawl Town, Lil Pill, the other pill. You know what I mean? I go on for days with gangsters that, that got that money with me, right? And so I go on for days with niggas that got that money with me, real money with me, right? So when I'm hearing this Mohawk shit, right? I'm thinking that shit live, right? I'm rocking with that shit. But then I fuck around like two, three years into me rocking with that shit, right? I run into a nigga Jabo. I don't run into a dog like we meet each other. Dog just done being like every nigga in this motherfucker that's looking at me and that's in the state of Florida, bro. When you go to chain gang, bro, I guarantee you don't give a fuck what part of the state of Florida you step on the compound, bro. And you tell nigga you from Orlando, bro, the first thing they gonna ask you, bro, you know nigga Willis Lake, nigga call down, bro. Man, bro, get to that motherfucking boy, bro. That boy get that motherfucking money, bro. That boy ain't pussy, bro. That boy gonna stop in the paint, bro. They gonna tell you that, bro. Anything from Orlando, bro, they gonna tell you that if you consider a dude that's a stand up dude and get prison. So nigga asked me about shy. No, I get to talk about chopping up with Jabo. And you know we're chopping up about six. Both of us got life. You feel what I'm saying? Lil Tracy done did me in. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know Armstrong did him in at the time. You feel me? So, boom. So, bro, like, you know, I'm like, boy, you ain't heard that new slide from the city? What? That's when the money bag shit was out. Armstrong shit was hot now. That money bag shit was hot. I'm like, boy, when you heard that money bag, that nigga Armstrong? Oh, we don't know him as Armstrong. We call nigga Shaq back then. See, I know the fault nigga before we ever had anything. Nigga scattered me anyway. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga Lil Charles tell this nigga. Boots you tell this nigga. Nigga first time nigga ever had a pound nigga I gave to nigga. Nigga was scared ass nigga can't look me in face, nigga don't listen to court, nigga. Charles had to come bring nigga to some bitch high to get to get for a nigga. Bitch ass nigga still think bitch ass nigga still over like a thousand dollars from 20 some years ago. So from 1997 when I first got out. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I, I ain't tripping on that. But I asked Jabo, why you heard that new slide? Bro, like, man, 
I never listened to that funk nigga, bro. Tune your ears into this, people. This has nothing to do with Operation Armstrong. This has nothing to do with Shaw. This has nothing to do with nothing recent. This shit happened in 2006. This fuck nigga the same thing. If you heard that interview when that lady said, nigga, you've been doing this since 2006. This the nigga that, 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 that they done swept up under the road that he don't want nobody to know about, bro. It's Jabo, bro. Jabo say, bro, listen. That fuck nigga Armstrong that you listening to, bro, that shit that nigga saying, none of that shit ain't live, bro. He say, bro, that nigga sold me some dumb dumb, bro. I went back and handled up, or somebody handled up. He didn't say he handled up, cause the story went from three, four party. You feel what I'm saying? Well, nigga, go handle up. Get what Armstrong do. Armstrong called the police on that man. You purple nigga. Nigga, come back and see about you. You put him in jail. The city forgave you because you was able to sweep that one under the rug since y'all call it baseball play. That was your strike one, bro. Let's be real with this shit, people. Let's be fucking real with this shit, people. That was Armstrong's strike one. 2006. It should have been his only strike because Jabo got a life sentence. Because he got one, Jabo got three life sentences. Because Armstrong sold him some bad shit, fake shit, that the police couldn't even test up to be now. And the man came back and handled up Armstrong. Put that man in prison, man, for the rest of his life, bro. How a street nigga, a nigga that consider themselves living like more. You see them jewels Armstrong? Look at them jewels there. Well, oh, my God. Well, they're like, they're, they're like $167,000 for that shit. So you ain't never seen. You ain't never had 100 bands in your life, per se, nigga. But Armstrong put that man in prison. Because he said he lived a life when he lived. No. When he left the path out here like this. If I take your pussy ass up through there, you up through there. If you come back and hit me, because I done been shot four times. If you come back and hit me, guess what? I don't call the police. When the police come to my room and I'm sedated with motherfucking all this motherfucking medication because they're trying to get these bullets out of me and get me back right, I don't say a damn thing. Cracker act like they don't talk. See, niggas try to make the excuse about they was doped up. That's how they started talking. No, bitch. When you open your eyes and seen that white face in there, you knew that wasn't your family. So you supposed to close them bitches back and act like you was asleep because you know it wasn't the doctor. Uh-oh, excuse me. But that become your excuse. Why you shot there and talk? Why you became the police? How in the fuck a nigga that got as many gangster albums as Armstrong got? Come out and say that. You the police, and you're going to say you want to be justified being the police, bro. After all the shit you done talk on the mic, bro. After all the shit you got people believing in you. Because guess what? You tricked my stupid ass. <laughs> that might be why I'm so mad, right? Because you tricked me. I was in the chain game, like, fucking with you. But then I got to say to myself on some real shit, bro, on some G shit, bro. Bro, you ain't worthy of a versus, bro. You ain't worthy of our city praise, bro. Some of these young guys are, bro. They are, bro. Whether you got to think strong and know some real nigga shit, man. Everybody that's really rocking. You know, a lot of shit for the Kiki right? And I, I'm dead serious, though. I'm, I'm living how a bitch want to live out here. I am. But young people like motherfucker. I wish a bitch would. My camera just showed somebody passed by my house. I wish a bitch would. I'm going to pop this shit. I'm not going to do shit. God, for that. But um, listen. Some of these young dudes deserve to rep this city, bro. Even I feel like I deserve to rep this city. But I'm not doing this for no clout. Honestly, you're doing everything you do right now for clout, bro. You clout chasing, bro. You clout chasing. Slow yourself down. Because one thing about it, bro, you niggas saying y'all want to go to jail, but the funniest thing in the world to me is this. Because you say, oh, I'm going to do this to you if you come around me. What you trying to set your, stand your ground stage up? Because you know I will come around you. So you already done told everybody the police there, right? See, I think fast you fuck niggas, right? So that was your first move. You ho hoping I came and said saying da da da, but you let the police know. Oh, I'm scared. So if Willie come around me and I have a gun, I'm gonna shoot him. But see, your agent told you to make that move, right? See, I'm five steps ahead of you, pussy. Your agent told you to make that move to try to secure yourself, right? Because you're scared to death, right? You ain't even look serious. That's why I guess other people went to taking your fade for you, right? All your cousins and shit. I guess that's why they taking your fade, right? Niggas that act like they like you or whatever, right? whatever. But you done been through it with them too, so that shit looks so crazy to me, right? That shit's so crazy, but see, I'm going to tell you what I boiled it all down to, and I'm finna go. You niggas is used to doing other people like that. So you're used to motherfucker talking shit to niggas. Like, you niggas damn near thought y'all was going to end little D-Boy career. But D-Boy just laid around, laid around, laid around, 
until you did the flawless thing in the world and popped up. Now, you too far gone to be even talking about stepping on. Now, you ain't on his level. See what I'm saying? See, you got to think, Armstrong. Everything happening to you, bro, you already tried to do this shit to people. So now it's just coming back to you tenfold. And you never thought that you would run into a nigga like me that'll do it to your ass worse than you did it to other folk, right? You tried that shit before. You did good. You did it to a lot of people. Soldier boys say you green as fuck. You know what I mean? I'm for real. They say you, that's what they say. I know you green as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You's a bitch ass nigga. You, got, you might got some money, cuz. <coughs> Only way you might got some money is, y'all listen to this here too. Cuz there's a lot of his favorite rapper rappers that's looking, and I can't see them looking, but they looking. Y'all need to know this about y'all favorite rapper. Tell him he should have stayed in his class. You know what his class is? When he just was off the radar, ask him what he was doing. That fuck nigga was working at Steak and Shake on the east side. That fuck nigga worked so long at Steak and Shake on the east side, he should have a real chain on. He should have somewhere to stay. He should have a car right now. The nigga didn't take his goals out because he had money. Fuck no, I be on the east side. Niggas was pulling up saying, that go that snitching ass nigga Armstrong working right there. That nigga working Steak and Shake. Do the background check on that nigga. Do it. That nigga work steak and shake. He's a steak and shake nigga. That's what you should have stayed doing, working. You not a nigga that can represent Orlando. You can't. What? They already got us slated as a Mickey Mouse funny guy town, bro. I done fought so many niggas in prison about that shit, bro, for running their motherfucking mouth, bro. About that Mickey Mouse shit, calling a nigga Obi Kenobi and all that shit, though, bro. You can't represent us, bro, because guess what? That's exactly what that shit mean. Obi Kenobi mean off-brand ass nigga, nigga. Can't have you repping our city, nigga. You got all this poison on you, nigga. Then, at the end of the day, guess what? When the fire get hot, every nigga that's around you acting like they're rocking with you, they got to be the stupidest niggas in the world, bro. If you heard this man say he gonna get 56 people like him, bro, then he talking gangster to me. Why in the hell you gonna rock out with him? That fuck nigga started off by telling on the police on that interview. The police be giving nigga information. That nigga told the police, man, hey, man, I had words. Y'all was investigating me, man. I was on some goddamn, uh, oh, I know why y'all rocking with that puss-ass shit. Armstrong, you is an American gangster, bro. You is an American gangster, bro. I got to give you that. Because, see, I ain't never like that Frank Lucas guy, bro. I ain't never like him, bro. I ain't never rock with what he said. Nigga, if you tell, whether you tell on the police or not, bro, you the police, bro. Because guess what? You had enough of juice, bro, to persuade the police to take a check, bro. So they really ain't the police, bro. They work for you, bro. You the colonel of the tank, bro. You the one that run the ship, bro. So at no time is you ever going to be responsible for telling on anybody, bro. Supposed to be. You're supposed to never be so responsible for telling on nobody. Nobody. The police, niggas out of town. You shouldn't be responsible for telling on nobody, bro. It's Steak and Shake. Go look up Steak and Shake on the, on the east side, little bro. That nigga worked down Steak and Shake on the east side. He was there for like five, six years. That nigga, matter of fact, that fuck nigga was there so long, that nigga was the manager at that bitch. He ain't just worked there. He was the manager at Steak and Shake. That nigga had keys. He was trustworthy on strong. She, Jabari, stop playing with these people, bro. Stop playing with these people, bro. Jabari, stop playing with these people, Jabari. Stop, Jabari. You have been made out of the state of Florida and the FBI, the DEA, everybody, they made you out of the fuck nigga, pussy nigga that you is, bro. You need to wipe shit on your face and get the fuck off the scene like you've been off the scene, bro. You would have did better off staying behind the scene, writing some music for one of these jitty balls, pushing your money behind them, but silently staying off the scene. You could never bounce back from what you did, Jabari. Nothing. Nobody gives a fuck about nothing you have to say unless you do one thing. Oh, yeah, that nigga is Takashi 69. Yeah, he think that shit. We ain't Takashi 69. Orlando don't represent Takashi 69. Fuck that. Orlando represent niggas like what's slave, nigga? That stand up in that pack, nigga. And you ain't got a license, nigga. You got a license, nigga. Fuck that shit. Do your time, nigga. For real. And nigga talking about any motherfucking tuna, nigga. Nigga, I don't want to crash out with you dumbass niggas, nigga. Straight up. 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 Straight you sound like some motherfucking money, nigga. What the fuck I look like crashing out with you dumb ass nigga talking about for what? Because you broke? You can't figure your way out of this bitch, bro? You can't figure out how to get you no money besides one way and that shit ain't working right now, bro? So guess what? You want to crash and eat soups and so somebody can, hopefully, somebody will look out for you or, see that shit, that sounds so crazy to me when niggas say they want to crash out and go to jail, right? Because I tell niggas this in prison, bro. This is the simplest thing to do is motherfucking 
eat a hundred dollar worth of soups and chips every week. That's nothing, bro. That's not a fucking, that's not a nigga meal out here, nigga. Nigga, the Audi take a hundred dollars to fill that bitch up, nigga. I don't want to eat no soups and chips.